He has done a phenomenal job. The way, the, his work ethic and his commitment to that program is nothing short of exceptional. I mean, he's worked incredibly hard on his fitness. He works incredibly hard on the simulator. And even his comments from the weekend where he ran second in that race on Saturday, which I'd expected him to do well at some of the road courses, but to, to, to manage a result like that on an oval course and to be competitive, following Scott Dixon, sitting in behind him, looking at his lines, learning how to do it, he showed that he is all class. And the great thing about Scott McLaughlin isn't his talent, it's who he is as a person. He's just a terrific guy. It's a real credit to his family and it's a real credit to him. He's all about self-improvement. He's very self-aware, but he's got an enormous drive and he wants to be successful. And if he's not successful, he wants to know why and he wants to know what he needs to do to, 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 to have that success. And I think that what we're seeing at the moment is a young man who is at the very peak of his powers and only going to get better. And, he's, and it's a credit to not only his family, New Zealand, but also supercars and all of the teams that he's raced for over the years, from Stone Brothers, of course, Gary Rogers, and of course his time with us. So he's a wonderful, wonderful bloke, a great friend. He's like a kid brother to me, really. <laughs> but to see him have that success is just remarkable. And, and, and certainly, uh, certainly Fox Sports has been getting plenty of viewers from 10 Emery Street, Stapleton. <laughs>